WABG, the Delta's leading news source. Thanks for joining us here on ABC6 News Weekend Webcast. I'm Jasmine Anderson on this Saturday, April 6, 2013. We begin tonight with a car accident that happened just outside of Greenville, hitting Leland City limits. Around this afternoon, two adults and three children were injured in a car accident. Family members received a call about relatives involved. Witnesses say a red trailblazer traveling east on Highway 82 tried to steer away from a dog walking across the street and hit a pipeline in a ditch causing the mid-sized vehicle to flip over. 27-year-old Tiffany Willis was driving and her boyfriend was sitting in the front seat. Willis' three children were also in the vehicle. Two boys, ages 2 and 10, and one girl, age 3. All five passengers were rushed to the Delta Medical Center. No word on their injuries. ABC spoke to Willis' sister, Barbara White, just before she headed to the hospital. Highly upset, nerve-wracking. Just, just, just on the just nerve wracking, ma'am. Just upset and frustrated. And, but praying all the time that the Lord is going to, you know, help him come through. Thankfully, it wasn't no worse. Mississippi Highway Patrol is investigating the incident. Keep it in the Delta, the home of catfish, hosting their 38th annual World Catfish Festival downtown Belzona. Chairman Steve Anderson says over 10,000 visitors came out to enjoy a plate of catfish and activities ranging from this Little Miss Catfish pageant to shopping at 150 artist vendors. Hands down, crowd pleased was with the uh, catfish eating competition. Contestants had 10 minutes to eat a plate of catfish. Our very own Lucy Biggers entered the contest but struggled to beat the six-time champion Brent Rickard. Each contestant's plates were weighed with a scale and the Texas native consumed little over to two pounds of catfish. Rickard received a trophy and $100. Feel so good though. Just had a good time. Love coming to Belzona. The turnout crowd is unbelievable. People have been having fun all day long. We've had some excellent arts and crafts vendors. We've got had some great entertainment. We have had great rides. We had great rides for the kids. So it's just been a fun day. Anderson says they're taking a short break, but the committee is meeting in a few weeks to assess the festival and discuss plans for next year. In Greenville, in the Port City, participating in the fifth annual citywide cleanup day, the event is held twice a week. Each ward member recruits different businesses and organizations, along with families and friends teaming up to see which ward can collect the most trash this year. Uh, ward 4 Councilwoman Betty Walken Teams won, her team won first place, collecting 432 bags of trash, over 50 organizations participating with one purpose to clean their community. You've been watching the Delta's number one news source.